What happens when your own immunity turns against you? When the antibodies that are supposed to save you change teams or when the cells in your body start to replicate uncontrollably? It leads to cancer, a disease that claims the lives of over 10 million people annually. For years now, scientists have been looking for a cure and finally, they have achieved groundbreaking results. Our next report telling you about this. The doctors at the Great Ormond Street Hospital in the UK have done something that others only dreamt of. After chemotherapy and bone marrow transplant did not work for their patient, Alyssa, the doctors took a bold move. They turned to a new experimental treatment to deal with leukemia. So let's take a closer look at this revolutionary procedure, which is known as base editing. Bases are the building blocks of our DNA, just as letters in the alphabet make up words. The billions of bases in our DNA spell out the instructions for our body to function. While base editing, the scientists zoomed in on these bases and altered their structure. This helped them engineer new kinds of cells which are capable of hunting down cancerous cells. What happened next would have been unthinkable just a few years ago. 13-year-old Alyssa became the first person to be cured by this method and all of it was made possible by incredible advances in genetics. These results come after a long history of hit and trial. Doctors worldwide have tried their best to beat this deadly disease. Doctors worldwide have tried their best to beat this deadly disease. The founders of German company BioNTech have been trying to develop vaccines for cancer. Imagine if simply an injection could be the weapon to help win the fight against cancer. Now, you might have your doubts about that, but remember, the power of mRNA to produce vaccines wasn't proven until COVID-19 struck the world. But they are now one of the most effective vaccines to prevent infections. This success has encouraged scientists to dapple in this technology for treating cancer. BioNTech is running several trials. The vaccines have shown early encouraging signals. While all of these are sophisticated methods, some researchers are striving for a more natural approach. A study shows that potatoes might hold the cure for cancer. Here's what a team of Polish researchers believe. Potatoes are rich in naturally occurring chemicals called glycoalkaloids. These components have shown cancer-fighting properties. They could also help patients with devastating side effects of treatments. As bizarre as it might sound, but the scientists might be onto something. Plants have been commonly used to fight cancer. Chemotherapy drug Taxol also falls under this category. It is produced from tree bark. But before patients can gain from cancer treatments straight out of the vegetable garden, the mechanisms of the glycoalkaloids need more research. Scientists worldwide have now stepped up their game. Even though the number of cancer cases has increased over the years, the cancer mortality rate has seen a significant drop. Let's look at some data. In the US, breast cancer is the most common cancer of 2022, with over 290,000 new cases. The number of deaths recorded are around 44,000. Prostate cancer is the second most common, with over 268,000 new diagnoses. The death toll stands at 34,500. The figures are alarming, but if we look at the bigger picture, cancer deaths have decreased by over 30% in the last three decades. The reason for this gap is medical advancement. There are better drugs and treatment methods for cancer now. As a result, patients have a longer lifespan even after being diagnosed. The new base editing method is another step in the right direction. Although the procedure still has some loose ends. Overall, it is a milestone for the medical industry.
We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.